Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Vixton23, with some team throwing knife gameplay, and it's on Carbon. Carbon actually really enjoying as a team throwing knife map, as of recently, kind of used to hate it, but it's grown on me. I think it's just, you know, the route around the map, as you see there, you can be up on the cat rail, dropping down, running up behind, just taking people out, with the nice two-piece from feeds, as usual, I'm spectating the highest scoring player on my team because while I had a good game, it was by no means great. So uh, just joining in with this, going for a cheeky 360 there, but uh, we'll let him off for that. So yeah, Team Throw Knife is a go. You guys can enjoy that with a little bit of added um, speed to the gameplay, which I only just realized just now. I was like, is he is he uh, on something there? Like, we'll be all over the place. But no, it's just a little bit of extra added rapidness on the gameplay. So anyway, what am I going to be talking about? Driving, yes, as you guys know, I am in the process of learning to drive. Um, I've been 17 for two months, uh, just over two months now, I think. No, wait, a month and a half-ish um, around that number. And it's going pretty well. I've had about... Uh, 10 hours of driving with an instructor and about 10 hours of driving with um, parents, which seriously is not a good plan ever. My dad is the most irritating driving instructor ever. It's like seriously, um, of, of course I'm not the uh, best best driver ever and uh, it's things like getting up to some huge roundabout. I've never seen this roundabout before, been on it before. I, I know the roundabout rules, you know, all that kind of stuff, but still, it's one I've never experienced before and I've not experienced many, you know, it's just an experience thing that you have to build up. But uh, yeah, my, my dad wasn't helping me out. He wasn't like, okay, so you're coming up to this roundabout, you probably want to go into that lane and uh, then, you know, being this gear would probably help and indicate there. You know, fair enough, maybe it was stuff I should have known, but a little guidance would have been nice rather than just a silence until I'm on the roundabout and uh, I'm in the wrong lane and I need to get across. And I'm just like, do I go? And he's like, um, he's like, you should be in that lane. And I'm like, yeah, but uh, I'm not in that lane, so what am I supposed to do? So I was like, I indicated I was about to be broken. She's like, what are you doing? Don't go across. And I was like, oh, no, give me something. Because the instructor, obviously, he does it as his job, so he knows what he's doing. He, you know, explains um, what you need to do, how you need to do it. Um, obviously, if he thinks you need it and judges kind of based on that but i mean this was a while ago but i did not have a clue on that roundabout and i and then just people started hitting horns behind me it was like Meh. and i'm like no help me the thing that really annoys me is right i'm a learner and everyone's been a learner on the roads but they still pay you like no consideration i've had so many people just like um hitting horns just like ah oh, stupid learner get off the roads it's like yeah it's, it's something that that takes time I mean, there's just so much to think about. I mean, it's crazy to think going from, you know, in like 20 hours, going from not even knowing what to do to being able to... I can drive fairly competently. Um, I drove to training the other day for the third time and um, made no mistakes whatsoever. Actually, I think at one point... Wait, what did I do? I think at one point I... Uh, Maybe stayed in third gear for a pretty shallow corner, but I should have been in second. But it was a minor thing, so uh, yeah, driving's going pretty awesome. I'm hoping to take my test um, late October, but well, it's a bit of a touch and go thing. Obviously, when Black Ops 2 comes out, I'm not going to be wanting to have driving lessons. I'm just going to want to play that game, make my videos, and keep in tip-top condition for January exams, which is just the worst thing, that they release games in November. Now I can understand they released the game in November, a load of kids buy it, they're all talking about it, then all their friends are like, oh man, I want this game, can you buy it me for Christmas? Even though the game's an 18, but everyone who plays it is practically 18 or younger. But you know, there's that, oh, can I get this game for Christmas? They get the game for Christmas, then everyone has the game. Then Activision are like, yeah, everyone has our game, they play the games. And then uh, after Christmas, everyone realises that it's been exploited by overpowered setups, um, and it's a terrible game, but uh, we're, we're, let's hope it's uh, we get a little longer, you know, we get to enjoy the Christmas noobs, we just rampage on them, and then for a little while afterwards they um, they don't realise there are FMG9s and Type 95s and all manners of dead man hand, explosion, death, mega doom, let's, let's just hope, you know, let's just cross our fingers, um, I've heard that they will be actively nerfing perks, 
um, as the game is live. So, you know, if everyone's using one perk and it's giving an advantage, they can just nerf it down, which is quite cool. But, uh, all things summed up, I think Black Ops 2 is going to be a great game. They've got the customization, but it seems like they're going to be doing a good job of controlling it and making sure it isn't abused. Don't know how I ended up on the topic of the, uh... Black Ops 2 when I was talking about driving, but yeah, driving's awesome. Black Ops 2 is going to be awesome. This kill cam, awesome, and I will see you guys on the next gameplay video thing. There's the scoreboard, because everyone loves to see that, and here's the outro with the other episodes on it. See ya!